Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop uh, on this Sunday evening. Um, Bacha and, uh, and Smadar, my wife and daughter, have gone out to watch a movie, so I'm left to my devices here. Um, I've had a uh, had a quite a good um, weekend. I've managed to knock off a couple of jobs that were uh, hanging around, and one we're going to talk about this hollow um, hollow shaft pump uh, motor. So, we, first of all, we we made and I showed these uh, on another another movie. We made up these um, cut these splines on this shaft. Um, this one has to have an internal spline for the second one that I made is going to go inside there um, but that's going to be done by wire cutting but at any rate we had a successful day cutting those and uh, they come up pretty good using an involute uh, gear cutting uh, cutter I should say and they, they worked out quite well the other thing that we've managed to do is is to machine up the last of the last two of four in this series of, sp of spanners, which is a an X 44 uh, millimeter, 34 millimeter um, socket, and what I've done is I've machined that socket out round here and here. I've machined a sleeve to go over it, and tomorrow I will weld it, uh, TIG weld it around here, both of them, and they're made for the um, for these nuts, uh, special nuts that I make for impellers for pumps. So that's that's the um, so that was quite successful. Now what we've got down here, this pump has, has gone through a lot of stages. Um, when it first came to me, it had been uh, the this end had been um, ground off. Uh, part of the tube inside here had been ground off. Um, this is part of the tube. It was destroyed when they tried to take it out because they took it out the wrong way, um, and. Um, so what, and then on the on the flip side of it, you can see here that's the back end of the. It's after you the the motor the electric windings inside here. Um, I machined the internals to make it a bit thicker, because um, because this tube was just too small for me to machine, too thin. Um, so I machined it out a bit. I then machined and and that's been featured in movies. Uh, I machined the centre uh, a new tube. I TIG welded it to this casting end. It's all stainless steel 316. Um, I installed it and welded this side as well. And then I lined it all up and I welded the flange. Um, I welded the flange on uh, lined up. Now today, uh, after it had come back from winding, from uh, from rewinding. I've then um, had to re-bore, to run through and re-bore um, this to give a bit of clearance. Now this, this pump is, fl acid actually flows through here and out through the back uh, of this thing and it works with, uh, with these, um, uh, these carbide um, fibre, oh, what do they call them? They're, they're a, a special material anyway, and they're extremely expensive bearing. And this is, uh, they're under preloads. And this is the actual shaft. It's got two tapered sections on it, one at the top and one at the bottom. And those bearings sit in there, and then they have spring, spring loaded, and they actually the bearing and the seal. And the acid runs through this whole area and out the other end. Um, so the acid is the, is the coolant. So we, when, we, um, when, we, when they assembled it, they found that there was one point that was touching and we, we, ex we expected that some shrinkage had change in this tube because it's so thin. So as I say, I bored that out. I, I bored out about 15 uh, thou bigger and now I'm going to see how that goes on. And by the way, this is the bearing, this is the seal and the bearing is carbon. That's right, there's a carbon bearing. And this is where um, this is the other this this end here, and that's where the bearing sits inside, and works works against that that spring. Very unique, uh, made in somewhere upstate New York. So without further ado, I'm going to just roughly set this up to see um, 
see how it all goes together. So we'll just put the, I'm not going to put the retainer unit in. There's two little retainer units that keep that bearing in place. Uh, I'm just going to put the bearing in. And as I say, these are extremely expensive. I'm not sure. Yeah, that spring's okay. Then we'll carefully insert the shaft down inside. You see that, and that, that gets the pressure with the preload on it. Um, then the second, the second bearing and the spring, and this is the cover that go that goes on here. And then that whole thing comes down and gets bolted into place. There's only one way this will work. There's only one way this put these bolts. There's three bolts, but they're not equally spaced. Um, and I think I think that looks like where they come to, but they're under pressure. I'm not sure about these bolts actually. Right, that seems okay. So we'll try that. And that should position that in place, these three bolts. Sorry if I was in, in the way there a bit, but that third one in there. And all things being equal. That should turn. Oh, geez. Because of the preload is so difficult. Um, I'm wondering if I just put it in without, without the upper spring. And see if we've got enough there. So that's all that preload. Well, that's what uh, helps service it. So what I'll do. I'll put it in there are a couple of sure maybe one of those. See how that looks. Still extremely difficult to turn that. Anyway, I'll leave that for the rewinders to um you know, I don't think we should turn it much without having fluid in there anyway. But it's got play all, all around. Um, now, of course, that's you've got no preload now, so but she's being around there. There's no touching, so that's all good. So um, I will carry on. I've decided to have a nice little scotch. I, I, the bottle was there. I just couldn't resist. So for everybody. For all the Aussies out there, Aussies and Kiwis, tomorrow is Anzac Day, we'll be celebrating, I won't be celebrating, we'll be marching uh, in uh, respect for all our returned soldiers, uh, for those that, that passed away, those that uh, gave their lives um, with the ultimate um, cost, and to my father who served for six years in active duty, and to my nephew Ben who served uh, more than 10 years in active duty recently. Um, I salute you all. Thank you.